types of rocks. So rocks are divided into three classifications or three types. The first type of rock that I will introduce is an igneous rock. The second type is a sedimentary rock. While the third type is a metamorphic rock. So in the next slide, we will understand how igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rocks are formed in this planet. So bear with me, and this is our second lesson in earth science rocks so igneous rock there are two types of an igneous rock when we speak of the first type this is usually the rocks or most of the rocks that we can find in the surface of the planet this is an extrusive rock or sometimes we call volcanic rock the other type of rock are mined so these are intrusive rocks Another name for intrusive rock is plutonic rock. In the next slide, you will understand why the other one is called intrusive and why the other type of rock is called an extrusive rock. So the first igneous rock that I am going to introduce here is the extrusive rock. Extrusive meaning external. They are uh, the hardened lava. So, in a volcano, the magma will be spewed out into the mouth of the volcano and when they are uh, uh, found outside of the volcano, they are called lava. When this lava cools down, since they are exposed to the uh, ambient temperature of the atmosphere, they cool down quickly. So, when they cool down quickly, the appearance of our rock will be a fine grain rock so basically you cannot find much of the uh, different minerals found in one rock so that's why they look as if they are fine or the, the grains are quite fine compared to the other type of uh, igneous rock so what are the examples of this type of rock or the extrusive rock or a volcanic rock so here we have the basalt so this is a basalt this is a type of igneous rock that is an extrusive rock and the other one is obsidian so obsidian looks like a glass so these two types of uh, of rocks is an example of an extrusive rock an extrusive rock is an igneous rock so the other type also of an igneous rock is called an intrusive rock. Intrusive meaning they are found inside. They are basically the hardened magma. So when they do not have the chance or opportunity to be spewed out from the mouth of a volcano, they will stay inside the volcano. So it is found underground. And they cool very slowly because they are not exposed to sudden temperature drop as compared to the extrusive rock that is exposed to the atmosphere. So the slowly cooling of this rock will produce a much, uh, produce a much bigger grain of minerals so the different minerals are are actually uh, visible from the appearance of the rock so in other words they are coarse grained rocks so the two examples of this type of intrusive rocks are the granite and the other one is gabbro so uh, if you can see this type of rocks, actually granite is very common in household materials such as the kitchen table tops. So the, those are types of uh, intrusive rock. And you can also see the different uh, go, or the, the coarse grained uh, surface of those granites. So that's uh, the difference between an intrusive rock and an extrusive rock. Both of them are all an igneous, uh, igneous rock. So the next classification of our rock is called a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks actually are made of particles of sediments, maybe skeleton and some shells. So the next slide will be showing us the different types of sedimentary rocks 
and the process on how sedimentary rocks are made. So this is the process of making sedimentary rocks. So the main uh, term that is used in the process of making sedimentary rock is called lithification. So lithification has three different components. The first uh, process or first component of lithification is deposition. So deposition is basically the deposit of minerals and organic materials combined in the surface of the ground. And later on, the second component is the compaction. So all those deposited materials along with the organic debris will be compressed or compacted as uh, a geological process with, with respect to time. So all of those uh, layers will be covered by another layer until such time that uh, it, the, the pressure is enough to press all those layers beneath. And along with water, the cementation along with water the water will also bring in minerals and will also be deposited into the rock so as the water escapes there is already the the cementation and compaction of uh, our sedimentary rock and so that's how a sedimentary rock is formed so in here i will give you the three basic types of sedimentary rock so we have sedimentary rock from sand so the compaction and or the lithification of sand and the product that is formed from the lithification of sand is called a sandstone so this is the color of a sandstone it's more or less like a tan in color and there is also another type of material that is lithified and that is uh, mud so mud from you know uh, different uh, geological surfaces of the planet that is very rich in water so that is uh, by by geological time they the water escapes from the area and creating tremendous pressure and cementation and eventually they become stones and so these rocks are called shale so the shales usually are color gray so shale are actually made from the materials of mud so the last type of uh, the three uh, common types of sedimentary rock is a limestone limestone usually is made from debris of shells and some minerals so these are the three types of sedimentary rocks that is very commonly found in our environment so finally we have metamorphic rock so metamorphic rock is usually caused by heat and pressure so in this illustration uh, there is actually the source of heat which is the magma from the underground and at the same time the pressure of the surface of, of the layers of the crust so in that uh, area for example very near to a magma there will be a change of uh, chemical compositions of the or maybe the arrangement of crystals of our uh, materials and minerals to create another type of rock which is called a metamorphic rock in the making of metamorphic rock, uh, the process is called a metamorphism. So there are three types of metamorphism actually. And the first type of metamorphism is contact metamorphism. When we speak of contact metamorphism, this is the creation of metamorphic rock very near to a magma chamber. So wherever there is a source of heat and the magma for example, so along the peripheral area of the magma chamber will actually create a type of metamorphic rock. So that type of metamorphism is called a contact metamorphism. Now for a, the second type of metamorphism, that is called regional metamorphism. When we speak of regional metamorphism, that covers a whole area for a couple of square kilometers. So when we speak of uh, regional metamorphism, that is just basically due to the pressure uh, that is developed a long time uh, within the layers of our crust. 
so but as actually it covers a whole range of areas since it is called regional metamorphism in this example we have slate due to a very high pressure and the uh, and high temperature as it goes down so you will be expecting to to find uh, migmatite this migmatite is actually coming from a slate that is metamorphosized as it goes down or brought down to the amount of pressure and the layers of the uh, surface of the crust. Now for the third uh, type of metamorphism, this only occurs during a fault. So that's why it's called a dynamic type of metamorphism. So while it is true that uh, there is a regional metamorphism that is uh, produced due to the pressure of the crust of the earth, but when a fault is actually sliding or passing each other, it can also create a pressure to the crust. So that again will produce another type of metamorphic rock so the process is still called metamorphism so the two types or i'm sorry the three types of metamorphism are contact metamorphism regional metamorphism and dynamic metamorphism so this is a diagram of an increasing pressure and increasing temperature taken from the page 250 of the Earth's uh, Earth portrait of a planet 3 slash E. This is done by uh, the original work is done by Gary Hinks. So in this illustration, it shows, for example, with smaller pressure and temperature will produce a low grade shale. So as the pressure and temperature is increased, it can produce another uh, setup of that uh, uh, crystal of that rock into slate. And as you increase further the temperature and pressure, you will produce the schist going to the knees and magnetite. So this is how the different types of uh, metamorphism due to the corresponding increase of pressure and increase of temperature looks like. For example, if you just have to increase further the, temp the pressure with the minimal temperature, we will actually be producing a blue schist. So these are the different types of uh, rocks that are produced with our uh, diagram uh, as presented here. So I hope that this will help you understand how pressure and temperature plays or interacts with each other to produce a different type of metamorphism or metamorphic rock. So now finally we will be looking at the different types of metamorphic rocks and the first type is effoliated. Another name for that is banded. So you see the bands of lines of those minerals coming from the original parent material of the rock that is found here. So that is one type of metamorphic rock. And another type of metamorphic rock is uh, non-foliated. So this is the reason uh, for be to for having a non-foliated rock is because it's usually coming from only one mineral. Uh, an example to this type is actually our limestone when they are metamorphosized. So basically limestone is made from a sedimentary rock. So when limestone is metamorphosized, they will become marble. So that's why they are only having one type of color and no band on it. So these are the two types of metamorphic rock. One is banded, the other one is non-banded. So this is the conceptual summary about rocks. Rocks are made of minerals and there are three types of rocks, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. For igneous rock, there are two types. One is extrusive rock, also known as volcanic rock. The other type is intrusive rock, also known as plutonic rock. This extrusive rock or volcanic rock cools quickly on the surface of the earth because this is made from lava. And since lava is exposed to the ambient atmosphere, uh, this uh, type of cooling will produce a fine grain as type of extrusive rock. The examples for extrusive rock are the following basalt and obsidian for an intrusive rock also known as plutonic rock they cool very slowly and they cool beneath the earth's surface because they are made from magma 
And since magma is not exposed to the Earth's atmosphere, they will produce a coarse grain type of appearance of the intrusive rock. So the examples for this one is or are granite and gabbro. Rocks again are created when magma or lava cools. So when magma cools down, that's the intrusive rock. While when lava cools down, that's the extrusive rock. For sedimentary rocks, they are made from particles of sediments and some organic matters, including skeleton and shells. The process of making the sedimentary rock is called lithification, and that includes sedimentation, compaction, and cementation. While the three um, major types of sedimentary rocks that are common in the environment are the following. Sandstone are made from sand and the color is tan. Shale, the color is gray and they are made from mud. While limestone, the color is white because they are made from shells. And they will be metamorphosized into a marble or quartzite. And in terms of metamorphic rock, the types are non-foliated. When we say non-foliated, they are not bonded or non-bonded type of metamorphic rock. And usually, this is due to uh, one type of mineral is present within the rock. An example again is marble and quartzite. So for foliated or bonded type of rock, they are uh, the example to this one are sl uh, slate, schist, and gneiss. So metamorphic rocks is caused by two uh, factors. One is heat and the other one is pressure. Metamorphic rock undergoes the process what we call metamorphism and they occur in three types. One is locally or contact metamorphism that is found in a small area, usually in a magma chamber. And another type of metamorphism is in terms of a large area. This is why it's called a regional metamorphism in terms of square kilometers. While the dynamic metamorphism is due to faults and pressure. Now, uh, rocks undergo also what we call a rock cycle. So, a metamorphic rock can be turned into sedimentary rock later. While sedimentary rock can be uh, consumed inside our earth, uh, magma, and uh, mantle, and eventually they can be spewed out again in the form of lava and magma and becomes an igneous rock. So the cycle can uh, be in any order. So this is uh, the conceptual summary about rocks.